Hello, and welcome to ProKeep, where you make more sales in less channels and less time. This is what we're going to cover in this training today. We're going to understand the basics of ProKeep and its value, and then review and understand the features of ProKeep. What is ProKeep? ProKeep is a sales and customer experience software built specifically for distribution that allows you to communicate with customers from your mobile phone or counter computer. ProKeep is your mission control for turning communication into commerce. So what is centralized communication? ProKeep text enables your business phone number so contractors can now text in orders, check prices, ask questions, send in pictures of parts, or send emails or fax messages to a shared inbox accessible from any computer or mobile device. This way you can manage all channels from one workspace for even faster service. Now what value does ProKeep bring? We're going to help you increase your sales with a streamlined method of communication. We'll create a better customer experience, no more waiting for long periods on the phone, and we'll make it easier for your hard of hearing customers or those who speak different languages to communicate with you. We'll also add productivity and accountability, saving you time now that your customers can text in and you can manage all conversations on the cloud. And here is what our platform looks like. This is ProKeep. The group listed will represent your location, and then you have your icons on the left, which we'll cover individually. We can see that there is a message waiting in the inbox. Because of this visual notification here with a red circle next to the threads, and a red circle with a one in it next to the inbox. You'll also receive an audible notification through the speakers on your computer. You'll hear a bell chime or a computer blip as soon as the message is received, or periodically until someone claims it. The third notification is a pop-up notification in the lower right-hand side on a Windows computer or up here on an Apple computer. So we're going to click on the inbox and get a preview of this message before we claim this thread. When we get a text from a phone number that doesn't have any contact information associated with it, we will get the option to create a contact or to block this. If this says, can I talk to you about your car's extended warranty, it's probably spam and you'll want to block that. In this case, we see that this is a relevant customer sending in a picture requesting a quote. Below that, we can see the automated message letting your customer know that their message has been received. Then we can go ahead and claim this thread. As soon as I do that, a second automated message lets your customer know who's reading it. Notice that this removes the message from the inbox, so there is no longer any visual or audio notification. It's now moved to the Open Threads tab, where I will view this thread here. And anyone else logged in will be able to view this thread here under the All Claimed Threads dropdown. Now be sure to ask your customer who they are. Feel free to use one of these automated messages below. In this case, we don't need to do that because John has identified himself in this message. So go ahead and click Create Contact, and we can enter his name here as well as his associated company, and then press Submit. Now, anytime John texts into your branch, instead of seeing a phone number at the top of his message, you will see his name, company name, and any associated account. So to take care of John Lane, you can click on his image here. You may zoom in, flip the image, or you can even annotate it if the serial number or information you need is unclear. Since we know what this is, I'm going to let John know that I've got it and I'm working on it now. These stock messages here are customizable on a user level in the settings section under preferences, which I'll discuss further when we cover the settings section. I'm going to respond that this item will be $400 out the door and ask him when he needs it. I can press send here or I can hit shift and then enter on my keyboard to instantly send that message. While you're waiting for his response, you're able to multitask. You can direct your attention to other tasks, maybe answer the phone, claim another incoming thread, or tend to another customer at the counter. You'll know when John Lane replies because of the visual and audio notifications, but you will be the only one who will be notified because that message is no longer going to a shared inbox, only to yours. And make sure to close the thread when you are done, which we'll discuss further. Now, there are a few different ways to send files that you are currently emailing to your clients. One way to do this is through copy and paste. For example, if you are creating a quote for a customer, take a screenshot of that quote, save it to your clipboard, and simply paste it into this area here. 
You can also copy and paste a link to your e-commerce page. The next method of doing this is through dragging and dropping. If your customer wants an additional view of a product, you have the ability to take that image and just drag it into the texting area like this. The third way to attach a file is to click on this attachment tool here. Now notice that this attachment is going to be sent as a cloud link. The customer has the ability to either download this or they can click this link and have it open on a browser on their device. The next thing we're going to do is add a tag. Your customer may give you a PO number, a physical address, or some sort of keyword to identify this conversation. You can add this as a tag in the top right-hand corner. Maybe this order is urgent, you're able to mark that here. Finally, once we've thanked our customer for their business, you can close this thread. This is comparable to hanging up the phone after a call. We want to ensure that John Lane's next message will go to a shared inbox where everyone that is logged in will be notified. Therefore, you'll be able to avoid anything from falling through the cracks or being missed. When you've closed the thread, the conversation will be moved to the close tab where it can still be viewed. It'll also be archived under John Lane's name in the contact list. Now, as a reminder, all messages will remain under the contact, so you're able to go back and revisit previous information if needed. Now, the next thing we'll discuss is being proactive with ProKeep. You don't want to wait for your customers to text in to do business with them. You want to utilize ProKeep proactively. To do that, click on the plus sign here, creating an outgoing message, select John Lane's contact, and then go ahead and let him know that his order is ready for pickup. You can attach the sales invoice, a quote, or any other pertinent information, and then press send. This process only took a few minutes compared to calling, leaving a voicemail, or crafting an email to send. By proactively reaching out to the customer, you remind him that texting is a reliable method of communicating and open the door for them to add on or to adjust his order. You've also left all of this communication in ProKeep, so anyone on your team has visibility. Next thing we'll talk about is transferring messages. You may need to do this if you need to step out or if a customer asks a question you don't have the answer to. To transfer the message, just press the ellipsis next to the close button and then select transfer. Select the user you'd like to transfer this to, making sure they're logged in, which you can see by simply looking and confirming that this light is green for online and not red for offline. And then enter an internal message. Only your coworkers will see this, the customer will not. Then you can press send and see here that the thread has already been transferred successfully. You may still view it under all claimed threads rather than my threads. And when the customer replies, Ryan will be notified because he now has ownership of this thread. Now we've discussed claiming, closing, and transferring threads. The next thing we can look at is our contact list. So in the contact list here, you have all your customers listed alphabetically along with their companies. You can use the contact search to look for a particular contact. And when you click on a customer's name, you'll see a contact card from which you can message the customer directly. Edit all of their information or even add notes. When you close the contact card, you have a record of every communication had with that particular customer. Similarly, if you look up a company in the contact list, you can click on the company name and see a similar company contact card from which you can edit its information and view associated contractors, vendors, or tags. Also in the contact list, you have visibility of your team and you can see a list of team members at all locations. You can also utilize internal messaging and send a message to any of your coworkers here. You can also send your message to the other locations inbox within your company if this is applicable, so it'll be visible by all of the members of that particular location. An additional way to add a contact is by hitting the plus sign and then entering the contact's name and phone number here. This plays an integral role in creating newer and better habits while driving and increasing adoption with your customer base. And it's useful if you have a customer texting into your personal cell phone. Rather than replying to them through your phone, enter their contact information and reply to them through ProKeep. When you add them as a contact, you also have the ability to send them an automated welcome message through ProKeep. You can hover over the info I to preview the welcome message. Sending welcome messages is a best practice and one of many ways to ensure that adoption is taking place.
Moving on to the global search tool. From here, you have the ability to search for any tag created. If you wanted to search for any conversation marked urgent, you could do that. If there's any miscommunication on prices, for example, if your customer thinks you quoted them $300, you can search for $400 and pull up that particular quote. This will assist with any he said, she said that typically takes place on a siloed call or from a personal phone. The last tab we can look at is the settings tab. Under your settings, you have two options, settings and help. Under settings, if you click my account, you can update your personal information or change your password. Under preferences, you can customize your stock messages that we utilized and spoke about earlier. Under the support and feedback section, you'll see a link to our help center. Everyone has access to this. It's a great resource with a lot of information for you, should you have any questions. One key feature to enable is the auto open ProKeep upon startup. These instructions here walk you through enabling ProKeep to startup automatically whenever you turn on your computer. This ensures that you're opening ProKeep and making it a bigger part of your daily routine. Also under the support and feedback section, you can contact our ProKeep team via telephone, email, or provide feedback directly to our support team. We are a customer driven company here at ProKeep and your feedback greatly helps us to continue to develop our product to better serve you. All right, that's all for now. I hope this training was helpful to you. Have a great rest of your day and remember, ProKeep is less channels, more sales and better service.